Yes. Another another burning issue in in, in in athletics is the case of castasemia, which is coming up, hi, hyperandrogenism. Now, you think it's it's now becoming a sort of a human rights question because uh, what we're hearing is that the IWF is going to ask Castasimene to take injections to reduce her testosterone. There's talk about she being classified as a biological male. What do you think of this? Too, is it too much of a technicality? It's all about competing clean. She's clean. Then, then how, do you, how do you take it from there? Absolutely. I think that uh, it's, it's not a decision that, uh, that I would like to have to make because, you know, you've got... One lady there who, you know, through no fault of her own, is what she is. And I don't know whether that one person's identity or sex or, or whatever it is, is more important than the majority of the people. I, it's, a, it's a minefield. And I'm only glad that um, proper professionals who, who are unbiased and stuff are, are going to try and make a call on it. It's good, and it's going to be a difficult one, I'm, I'm sure. We had an Indian girl, Duti Chand, who actually went and challenged that ruling of the IAAF and then she won that and she was allowed to race. She actually won medals at the Asian Games in the 100 and 200 when she calls it that a fight for her life, a fight for identity. Do you sympathize with someone like Esther? No, listen, absolutely. As, as I was saying, it's, it's not her fault. You know, she is like God made her. You know, and, and that's, the, and that's the, the beauty and the shame of it. But I think that, you know, there, there is a question that needs to be answered and it's going to be, it's going to be a tough one on both sides. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, let me ask you a question. I mean, okay. you're really interested in the athletics. What side would you come down on? I, I think, as you said, it's a tough one and you would go with the athlete as God made her. I think ultimately if we are fighting against doping in sport, right? So if she's clean and she's not taking any drugs, she is what she is. Isn't that a fair assessment? Yeah, listen, I think that, as I say, it's gonna, it is going to be so difficult because, you know, following on from that, you're going to get, you're gonna get the, the transgender stuff. And it is going to be, it is such a minefield. And, and I don't know where, where the ethical questions lie. I don't know, you know, or, or do we just say that because... I'm saying I'm a woman, it's okay. I, you know, I, I've just got no idea. Thankfully, you aren't heading the IAAF at the moment. It's your friend, Lord Sebastian Coe. That's for him and his lawyers to now handle. But uh, Daily Thompson is always a pleasure and uh, lovely to he hear your forthright views as always. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Look forward to next year. Next year. Okay. That's a promise.